That's the stack standing, ready to be launched, nice and neat. It's tied down at the edge here, down the ground. I'll go and launch the lift kite, then come back, release the lift here, and well, release that hold first, and then release the stack. Get it launched, and we're up. Here's that. Terrific launch. I think it looks all right. Line. Looks like the lift kite as well it seems to be going right there a bit. Yeah, yeah, definitely actually. That's a shame. That's going to end up impacting on the ground there. Damn it. Okay, maybe a bit of steering needed. Kites look okay, I think. Yeah, good launch. Yeah, it's a pretty powerful day. The lift kite's heading off to the right a bit. We were gusting over like about 360 there. I've just seen a big issue. We're not connected on the center line. Everything's running down the outside lines at the moment. Uh, I'll have to stop. Okay, there was definitely a bit of a tilt uh, backwards on that anchor plate before I started today. And uh, here's that torsion sensing again. And Loading. Um, yeah, it's now tilted a wee bit forwards with the tension. So, yeah, maybe we need something heftier on the anchor. The lift kite was pulling to the right again. I've tweaked up the, the bridle on there. We should be alright now. Running out. Okay. That's a lot fast. Field, and there's the turbine and the lifter. Good strong test day today. Lifter kite up there. Okay, turbine whirring away. Nice. They're running quite flat those ones. It's going nice. Let's check these. some rather weird shadows on the ground right now. Be able to run a test all day with a mechanical brake, but uh, yeah, now I've only got that one battery to fill, it's, it's maybe not gonna last long. bit concerned that um, overloading the battery today um, it's been going for a while and it used to be that we just run against a mechanical brake and get the the data out of that now there's a funny thing also when it starts stalling after a wee while here you are you see the deformation in the top kite then the torsion lets go well the torque lets go in the generator and then it sort of springs back into life so you see that deformation then it'll let go in the bottom in a wee sec 
the arts let go, everything's sprung back up a wee bit, the speed gets up, and then the generator starts demanding again. So in a fairly low breeze like this, that's been happening fairly consistently, but it's just, you know, that's very much a generator control thing. I do need to tweak the shape of those kites a little bit right enough. There it is again. Installing and let go. That's it, you can see. Yeah, it's happening a fair bit. If the wind picks up, then you know that that's released. But I guess it's the uh, the demand on the battery is it's the battery is chock a block full. So I'm not sure about the control software in that generator. That might be what's doing it. Um, again, we're changing to a new system with a VESC six soon. Then we get some proper dump loads and what have you on there. There's the low wind jerking again. Goes around for a while. Poor thing's juddering. Look at the shake on that battery. And if the wind drops a bit, let's keep it back in. Here it goes. And releases then. Takes a wee while till it catches back up. It just doesn't want to do a low level spin. It's gotta be a bit higher power for it to take it. It's fairly low wind. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna stop the test in a wee bit because the data is gonna be getting very messy with all this stop start behavior on the generator. Um, there's a danger also, we're gonna completely over voltage that battery and uh, ruin it. Um, yeah, it's been running quite well actually. Oh well, the poor wee motor. It's quivering with fear after that test. It's completely overloaded. I guess we'll let it shake off some energy.